Good afternoon. My name's Etienne Oestazen and welcome to our composting tunnel. Um, this is the final of that three-part series you've been following along. If you've not been following along, please, I'm going to leave the links below to part one and part two. And while you're down there, please like, subscribe and hit that little notification button or the little bell symbol so you can get notifications of when we post um, videos, basically. And this episode we're going to be looking at what amendments we add to our compost to make it a whole lot better. Before we, before we start on the amendments, we sort of need to almost take a recheck on what compost is. I'm going to leave a link below to a composting video that we did originally. Um, and there's a lot, there's a wealth of information there on, on YouTube and Google. But basically it's the combination of nitrogen and carbon, your brown material and your green material. And you mix it in a specific ratio and you start to compose things. That on its own adds a lot of organic matter to the soil. but not necessarily um, a lot of nutrients and things um, so there's quite a bit of stuff missing and that's that's what we're going to be focusing on today is on what nutrients we add to the compost I'm a firm believer not to add anything directly to the garden I, I try and everything must go through the compost the only thing I add to the garden is the compost um, now and again I'll do a foliar spray and I'll use the worm juice everything else I would prefer for it to go through the compost and the compost just acts as a buffer. Um, it controls pH, it controls um, the nutrient levels, and our compost is full of microbial life, which breaks down a lot of the material. So when, we, when we're adding stuff, you almost want to get it through this buffer before it hits the garden. That way, you, you're sort of creating a safety net that you're not putting anything in high concentrations or anything like that. It just adds that buffer. Now, one of the first things we add as an amendment, and it was in that first composting video, was um, biochar. Um, we're still applying it, and it, we've seen tremendous results. But, and I'm going to have a link to that biochar video. Biochar as a whole just provides. Um, do I have any here? There's, if I, I, I'm sitting in the compost, by the way, but there's a little piece of biochar or biochar is such a loaded word but basically it's we make our own charcoal and we add it into the compost now charcoal is one of those things if you if i had to add it straight to the garden um, these things are negatively charged so it draws it draws a lot of nutrients and water to it so if you add it straight to the garden it might actually pull the nutrients away from the plants so this is another benefit of having it go through your compost rather than adding it directly. Because um, while it's in the four weeks in the composting system, you start to charge it. The microbial life starts to establish themselves in here. And by the time it gets to the garden, you've, you've got charged biochar basically. Um, so yeah, that's the charcoal. And the other amendment we put in, and it's part of... The composting for us is just a way to cycle nutrients. That's all it is. And one of the nutrients that, if you've watched our, the second one is the needs and the yields of this composting. So one of the things that the chickens give us is eggs, but a byproduct of us eating eggs is eggshells. So the other amendment we put into the compost is eggshells. Um, we, what we do is we get the shells, we'll put it out onto a black, dark black lid and let the sun cook it for a week or so. So we remove any possible pathogens that might be attached to that through sun and UV rays then we put it up and we crush it very very fine before we add it to the compost and that's one way to cycle through I am going to do a future video on how to add calcium to the garden we've got three ways this eggshell way is one of the ways um, stay tuned for that video and so that's 
our eggshells that go into here. One of the things that we rely on heavily within compost is the microbial life. And one of the and how we supercharge that is just by adding molasses. Um, we add molasses in a combination with our lactic acid bacteria. Um, that's another video I'll drop in the link below. And that, that lactic acid bacteria is sort of a policeman for things that go anaerobic. You want to keep everything aerobic. And when things go anaerobic, basically when it starts to stink, that's when you know things are starting to go um, they they rotting as opposed to composing, decomposing, sorry. And by at, adding that lactic acid bacteria it just sort of polices that. And the, the importance here is to turn your compost quite regularly. Give it air. You want these things to work under air. These chickens are loud. Um, so we mix the molasses with the lactic acid bacteria and we spray it on into, into the compost. And that just, that ex additional sugar and the molasses has got some micro elements um, and that just gets the compost. I find that I almost, I'm, I'm, blah, 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 blah. I'm almost composting about 10 or 20% quicker when I add that mixture to it. Um, then the last one is an interesting one um, and that's rock dust. And one of the things that all these plants need, we, we, with modern agriculture so focused on NPK, um, nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus, that you forget a lot of the micro elements and I've seen it in my own garden where you start seeing some of the plants have, have deficiencies um, and that's indicated through their leaves and when I started picking this up I started asking questions did some research and it, I realized I was missing some of the micro elements in my soil um, first prize would to be get rock dust um, volcanic rock dust and add it that's still the plan. I definitely want to get my hands on some um, volcanic rock dust. But at this point, what I'm doing is we've got a big rock quarry that's close by. I'll go and and collect uh, just a bucket full of um, rubble or quarry soil. It's basically just crushed up rocks. And I'll, what you do is, well, what I do at least, is you mix that with water. And that dirty water will pour that out mix the rocks again and all we want is that dirty water then i'll let that settle once the top layer is clear throw that off mix it up again throw that off and i want the very fine silt which is actually just crushed rocks in very fine particle size and that i'll put onto the compost and that adds a lot of the 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 micronutrients now if you understand what soil is it's a combination soil is alive but it, it does have an inorganic um, base which is basically made up of rocks and if you constantly add in compost the plants might not get access to some of those um, inorganic minerals that, that, that they need and this is one way of adding it yeah that's what we do inside the, the composting tunnel then the last amendment I do is actually when we put it on the, the big blue tire outside and that's where when I need to change one of my worm bins um, we've got four worm bins. I actually want to increase them. Um, and we'll take one of those worm bins and we'll take out the worms, basically resetting the worm bin. Uh, there's a video for that. That'll also be in the link. The, the composting is the heart of the, of the garden and everything links to it. And if you watched last week's video on the needs and heels, you'll understand everything is linked to the composting. Um, but when we take a worm farm and we reset it, all that worm castings that we, we've harvested, I don't put that straight into the garden. Again, it, I want to put it through the compost and I'll add it to the, the final bin just in case there are earthworms or egg, worm eggs in there. If I put them in the start, the, the chickens will cull them. So I put it at the end, mix it up, and that's when the compost is good to go. So now we've added micro elements, we've given it some um, we cycled the eggshells through there, the calcium, we've supercharged the microbial life with the molasses and lactic acid bacteria and we've given it an additional fertility boost with the worm castings. By that time this compost is um, really, really good and really productive. I've definitely seen a change in our garden since we've changed to the composting tunnel as opposed to the traditional composting that we have been doing. I hope there's some value there for people. Um, Please like, subscribe, 
share it with your family and friends and hit that little bell symbol please that that's important <laughs> okay cheers have a lovely day bye